Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Can-Am. The ride says it all. Polaris, the world leader in off-road innovation. And by Yamaha, conquer outdoors. In last week's episode, we took the Polaris General on quite a mission, totally transforming the suspension and not just increasing the width by 10 inches, but also increasing wheel travel numbers to near pure sport category. Add to this our enclosed cab system and the functionality of a rear bed extender and cargo rack, and we have got one serious start to this ultimate general build. But it's pretty obvious that in its current state, it isn't going anywhere. To really put the general to the front lines and make it work, there's a couple of additions that are pretty obvious that we need to add, namely the wheels and tires. But before we get to that point, I have a couple of things that are gonna add to our comfort and safety. On the comfort side, I'm talking about seating. The number one most important thing to keeping you comfy on a long day's ride is a good quality seat. The stock seats in most side-by-sides, yeah, they're okay, but they leave a lot to be desired. And once you've put your butt into a high quality aftermarket seat, well, you're not gonna wanna go back. Now that I've got the seat bases removed, I can show you what's gonna totally change the comfort inside of this General and make it way more automotive. PRP is a seat brand that I trust, not just because I have experience with their products, but because seats and seat accessories are what they do, and that's all that they do. And for the general build, I was able to spec out a pair of PRP XC seats. You can choose pre-made colorations or custom design your own seat on the PRP website. From the logo to stitching, piping, front and back panel material, as well as the arm color, you can make your seat 100% yours. For the general, we went with an orange, silver, and black design, but equally as important, we opted for some really cool accessories. Now that I got the seats installed and I know that they fit properly, it's time to yank them out so I can wire up the heated seats. And yes, you did hear me correct, these things got heat. If you're using a vehicle in cold weather, heated seats are one of the most welcome accessories I can think of. PRP sends the seats with the heating elements pre-installed and uses nice snap connectors so you can easily remove the seats when needed. The install kit is straightforward, requires some wire routing and a little drilling for the switch, but goes in easy and clean. Oh, and I almost forgot, we went with the built-in lumbar pump. We find the lumbar option to add huge comfort and reduce back fatigue significantly. With a simple bulb hand pump and release valve, you can increase or decrease lumbar support, even on the fly. Now, remember earlier when I said we were gonna add safety? Well, these seats are more supportive, which adds safety, but we asked PRP to hook us up with a set of their 5.3 harnesses to keep us extra safe. 5.3 harnesses are five points of securement and three inch wide straps. They feature all black hardware and a choice of six strap colors of which we opted for matching silver and they're certified for racing. The forward shoulder straps also have built-in padding to keep you comfy and an easy to locate red latch guard reminds you the quick way out. Our final interior addition is the rear brace storage bag, fitting quite nicely in between the seats and matching in material and design. We now have an extra space to store our important gear and can easily be accessed by the passenger while you're driving. So with the interior all tied up, we need to move down to the ground and finish up what we started on the front and back end suspension with our wheels and tires, followed up with an important front end alignment. To make this General the true champion we know that it can be, we needed a set of tires and rims that said ultimate potential and no compromise. My first choice in the wheel category was the ITP SD Series Single Bead Lock in 15 inch. It's aggressive with a single bead lock while still staying light. It has the ITP two-year structural warranty and the all-important Rock Armor reinforced wheel lip for the time that you do get a little aggressive. And then wrapping our Black Beauties is a no-compromise, terrain-gripping Blackwater Evolution in 30 by 10 inch on all four corners. The Blackwater's eight-ply design will stand up to the abuse we put it under thanks to the sidewall armor and the tough tread rubber compound that reduces tire wear and increased reliability. This is truly a perfect fit for both aggressive off-road functionality and ultimate work capability. With our General's boots back on, we need to address one thing before we do absolutely anything else. It's super important when you lift or widen your rig. And that is checking wheel alignment. It's huge. When you alter your suspension geometry from stock, you can seriously throw out your stock wheel alignment and you need to account for it. With a measuring tape and some help, it's really easy to measure the wheels toe in or toe out and fine tune through the use of the tie rod adjustments and come up with, in our case, precisely one eighth of an inch toe out. Each suspension kit supplier will have a measurement they recommend, so pay attention and adhere to it for best performance results. 
Now at this point, we'd be ready to go out and hit the trail for the test ride that you guys have all been waiting for. But I can't help but notice one glaring flaw in this build. Generals always give a speech. And in our case, it's 1000 cc's of horsepower barking response. While there's nothing wrong with the stock exhaust, we're looking for more horsepower, more throttle response, and a clean and crisp exhaust note to let you know the General is on site. The MBRP Powertech 4 delivers up to 5 horsepower through a dual-stacked T304 stainless steel body and is guaranteed to fit. These exhausts don't just look clean and cutting edge, they sound incredible and deliver real-world performance gains. Now there's only one thing left to do, and that's to take the General out and see who's really in command around here. And while I know it's obvious, I just gotta say, this thing looks really good. I mean, this seriously came together. Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Princess Auto, a unique world of equipment, tools, and more. It's taken a while, but we are finally done building the ultimate Polaris General. And we have not only increased the workability of this vehicle, we've definitely increased the playfulness of this General. Right out of the gate, this is a completely different animal. The fully enclosed cabin gives you an experience more like a Jeep or off-road truck. I actually feel strange wearing a helmet because I have a sense that I'm driving an on-road vehicle, and the heated seats lend well to that notion, as do the lumbar pumps. The airflow is very acceptable inside the cabin thanks to the seismic vented windshield, and it keeps the glass from fogging, as at this point we don't have any kind of HVAC inside the cab. While it does feel very automotive, the five-point harnesses remind me that this is a side-by-side, -side, and what a fit. I feel planted, secure, and connected to the general, while staying very comfortable and bolstered in my seating position thanks to the PRP XC seats. I could drive this thing all day long and still feel great. Now interior comfort, it's a big plus, but at the end of the day, my biggest question was gonna be how this thing handles with 10 inches of extra width. Is it gonna be confident and predictable like the base model was? Or are we gonna lose all of that because of all of these accessories? Fear not, the General is at the soul of this beast, but it's only gotten better. I've had my fair share of experience with both cheap and high quality suspension kits, and this HDR kit is nothing but quality. The extended tie rod ends don't give any flex or hint that they're weak, and the suspension travel and predictability I was concerned would be altered has stayed true. While the stance is hugeified, and I do need to remember that along with rim offset and tire width, we're sitting at over a full foot long sub of extra width, there is nothing besides that width that's changed in the handling department. Even the power steering is spot on and staying true to character. Along with the added width, we also beefed up travel numbers. And let me tell you something, this could be the biggest change of all. Because we kept our front and rear sway bars, the handling is incredible. No excess body roll like you'd expect when sway bars are removed. The Elka Stage 5s were set up to perfection directly from Elka, and it's because of their hand-built, individually dyno-tested and set up to your vehicle, rider weight, and riding style characteristics that we have such a buttery smooth and confident ride. When you link a shock of this quality with a suspension kit of the same, you truly get a seamless suspension package. At no point do I feel that we are overworking the shocks or likewise that the suspension arms are limiting our drivability. The General is aggressive, planted, and yet still flickable in the corners and easy to get sideways in. And staying flickable and fun can be contributed to the inclusion of a Dalton clutch kit. The power of the General is here in full. We increased the tire size significantly with our aggressive yet smooth riding Blackwater Evolution 30 inch tires and the net effect of a bigger tire is reduced performance. That is unless you get into the clutches and account for the change. Dalton's new Helix profile, adjustable flyweights, and new primary and secondary springs have brought back the low end throttle response of the 1000. The rear tires are easily turnable and have no problem breaking loose, while the high speed response is still crisp and sporty. When you add this to the near five horsepower increase of the MBRP exhaust, I'd say there's not a performance drawback, and if anything, it feels like we have an increase in the responsiveness and acceleration even with the ITP wheels and tire package. Oh, and it's important to note that yes, those are 15 inch rims, and yes, they do look incredible. When the dust finally settles and the pipes cool off, I can handily say that we didn't just transform a little bit of the general, we changed the whole thing. We increased everything from performance to drivability, but we still kept the general hallmark. All work, all play. Dirt Tracks is brought to you by MBRP Performance Exhaust. Lightweight performance.
From time to time, we get invited to product releases that may not be the norm for dirt tracks, but they do feature products you use every day. And this time around, Toyota Trucks invited us to test the new line of TRD Pro Tundras and Tacomas. Pickup trucks, we all own them, we all use them, and we put them through their paces, whether it be off-roading, towing, or doing any other numerous things, but just how capable are pickup trucks and what truly sets one apart from another. When it comes to Toyota and their 2017 TRD Pro lineup, the easy answer is a lot. TRD in the past may have been aesthetics and mild performance upgrades, but TRD Pro? Yeah, this is the real deal, featuring real-world factory bolt-ons and features that you're gonna actually use. And to be sure that they really have what it takes and will come back for more time and time again, I was able to put them through the test and quite literally beat on them until my heart's content. And in the end, I can say with nothing short of full assurance that these trucks are rugged, aggressive, and built for whatever you're gonna throw at them. The 2017 Tundra TRD Pro features Bilstein piggyback shocks all around that produce a two inch lift over the stock Tundra, beefed up suspension arms and mounting points, as well as a quarter inch aluminum skid plate. A full 304 stainless dual exhaust system produces a symphony of horsepower that doesn't just sound incredible inside the cabin out, it looks great and will last. The exterior color of the Tundra is cement gray, an almost matte color that truly sets it apart. An interior comfort, yeah, they come in spades with nothing short of luxury car features and premium materials. The TRD Pro is available in double cab or crew max configurations. If the Tundra's 381 horsepower V8 isn't what you're looking for, possibly the Tacoma TRD Pro is more up your alley. Again, available in cool new colors, the Tacoma runs a 3.5 liter V6 with 278 horse, flowing through a single exit 304 stainless exhaust. Impressive 2.5 inch Fox internal bypass shocks with piggybacks in the rear provide an aggressive and capable suspension system. But for the times that you do find the bottom, quarter inch aluminum skid plates will keep the Tacoma's organs from danger. On both the Tundras and Tacoma, Kevlar reinforced Goodyear Wranglers are found wrapped around blacked out aluminum rims and offer impressive traction in even the gnarliest off-road conditions. Again, Toyota provides a beautiful interior with everything from navigation to heated seats and unique TRD Pro badging. And for the aggressive off-roader, an inclinometer with roll and pitch is also included, as well as Rigid Industries front-mounted LED fog lights. Now, one of the truly unique features that we were able to test on the Tacoma was the multi-terrain select as well as the crawl control. By selecting either of these features and removing your feet entirely from the gas and brake, the Tacoma will actually descend or crawl through aggressive off-road situations with only steering input required by the driver, and you can change your speed with nothing more than a jog dial. Toyota hasn't just tested the waters with these new TRD Pro Series trucks. They've jumped in head first and offered products that truly engage off-road enthusiasts like you and I. Closed captioning of Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Triton Trailer, built for adventure. When we were kids, we were told that our imagination was a window to the future. With it, we could make anything possible. So we imagined incredible things, fantastic places and outlandish adventures. And this was how we saw our futures. But as time wore on and we grew up, we started to realize that if we wanted the things we imagined to come true, what we imagined had to be more realistic. So we slowly let those fantastical dreams slip away. But let's say just for a second, you could go back in time and without any logical grown-up limitations, you could imagine the ultimate pure sport side-by-side. -side. What would it be? What would it look like? Today, I give you a glimpse into the mind of every young motorhead dreamer. Today, I give you Can-Am's Maverick X3 XDS. Futuristic, that would be the best way to describe the look of Can-Am's new flagship Pure Sport side-by-side. -side. If you enclosed the cage and took off the wheels, it could easily pass as a spaceship but a cool appearance isn't what makes a great side-by-side -side great. So Can-Am started with function and they started with the chassis. Now they had two goals for this chassis. It had to be light and it had to be rigid. And they accomplished both of these goals by utilizing an exotic steel they'd found as being used in the supercar industry called Dual Phase 980. 
Can-Am engineers identified early on that the best way to get the most consistent performance from your vehicle's suspension is to ensure the chassis it's bolted to is extremely rigid. Mission accomplished with the X3 chassis, which meant it was time to bolt up a dual A-arm front end with its arched lower arms that yield 20 inches of wheel travel, mated to a trophy truck-inspired four-link trailing arm rear end that also yields 20 inches of travel on the XBS and up to 24 inches on the XRS model. All four corners of our XDS are damped by massive Fox 2.5 podium RC2s that are three-way adjustable. Now, 20 inches of travel is a lot, but what if it doesn't work? That'd be a shame. Luckily, it's not the case. Travel is pillowy soft and it feels deep. It's also progressive, so bottoming isn't a problem. Ergonomics were also high on the list of priorities when designing the X3 chassis. It's the chassis that ultimately determines where and how the occupants are seated in a vehicle, and with a clean slate to work from, Can-Am was able to develop the most aggressive and ergonomically correct seating position we've ever experienced. What makes the ergonomics so good inside the X3 is a combination of layout and design. The seating position itself is the most laid back and cart style of any side-by-side -side to date and it's adjustable if you don't want to lay back quite so far. Seats designed by a company who supplies seats for Ferrari are one-piece molded designs Can-Am calls Ergolock. The bolstering is specifically designed to hug your body and keep you locked in. It works, and perhaps equally as important, the seats remain comfortable for all types of riding. If there was one thing about the interior we think isn't perfect, it would be the steering wheel. We feel it's just a bit on the small side and it's definitely way too flexible. When I was a kid, turbos weren't really a thing. The old adage, there's no replacement for displacement, conjured up images of big bore, high cylinder count engines in my fantasy vehicles. This is the decade of the turbo though. And while a turbo can make anything better, a turbocharged three cylinder engine is just a special combination. The X3's 900cc turbocharged and intercooled engine is referred to as the ACE and produces 154 horsepower with next to no turbo lag thanks to the turbo being part of the exhaust manifold. Hundred and fifty four horsepower in a pure sport side by side is kinda like it's like pizza. Even when it's bad, it's still pretty good. In the X3 though, it's not just good. It's incredible, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. A new CVT transmission Can-Am calls the QRS-X consists of larger six-roller primary and three-roller secondary clutches that pinch a wider drive belt and is responsible for the smoothest and most linear power delivery of any performance vehicle we've ever driven. Can-Am has always been known for very abrupt clutching and aggressive throttle tip-in on their highest performance vehicles. The X3, though, is the complete opposite. Engagement is buttery smooth and power delivery is actually on the soft side. Though when the boost starts to rise, you better be holding on because speeds are gonna climb so fast it can catch you off guard. The X3 XDS package is 64 inches wide, so it's pretty standard for a pure sport side-by-side. -side. The width definitely helps make it more stable, but much of its very predictable handling characteristics are thanks to its four-link rear ends nearly scrub-free operation Excellent sway control, both front and rear, and its extremely precise short ratio tri-mode power steering system. As is so often the case with exciting new vehicles like the Maverick X3, there simply isn't enough time in one test ride to go over all the exciting new technology and design elements that make this vehicle so special. There are a few secondary features though that we think are worth noting. 14-inch aluminum beadlock wheels and 29-inch Max's Bighorns are a great combo anywhere your imagination may take you. Trick LED lighting adds to the X3's overall futuristic feel and semi half -ish doors will keep you in and most debris out. Multiple drive modes and a throttle limiting learn key help keep the incredibly powerful X3 controllable in any situation and even for newer drivers. I can just picture a young boy in Quebec sitting at his desk drawing pictures of the ultimate off-road vehicle they'd imagined in their mind. Long travel, big horsepower, futuristic looks, it's all the same stuff you and I imagined when we were kids. When the time came for Can-Am to build the ultimate pure sport side-by-side, -side, 
They needed imagination. They needed people to think like they did as kids, with no limits or restrictions, and no one telling them that the ideas they had were unrealistic or impossible. And that's exactly what they got. Underneath it all, the X3 was born in the minds of imaginative dreamers. It was Can-Am who brought it into reality for us all to marvel. Dirt Tracks Television has been sponsored by Polaris, the world leader in off-road innovation. Can-Am, the ride says it all. And by Arctic Cat, share our passion. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Dirt Tracks TV's YouTube channel so you never miss another update.